What's up guys, Tony here with High Tech Check. Today I'm going to be talking about the Galaxy Note 7 and the signal issues that me and some of you out there have been experiencing. So I just got my Note 7 on the 18th and ever since I've got it, I've been plagued with signal issues. And in my house, I'm using a signal booster. I'm on T-Mobile and I always have full bars, full LTE no signal problems whatsoever and around the area it's good signal so I don't ever have to worry about going out of service but as soon as I go to work there are signal drops and it's ridiculous I'll have three or four bars one minute the next minute I'll have one and like this time here I had absolutely no service whatsoever it went from two minutes to having great service to no service whatsoever and what will happen is when I go to a no service the phone will not get signal again until I restart the phone even though the area will give me full bars 4G LTE I also had a problem where I'd have good signal but no data and how I fixed this was you go into the settings, connections, data usage, and you switch off your data and then switch it back on. And that seemed to work for me. Or you can try toggling airplane mode. If both of those don't work, then you want to go into your settings again and do a search. Look, Just type in reset and you'll see a setting in there to reset your network settings. And what that'll do is it'll reset all your network settings, your Wi-Fi passwords. Uh, nothing too important that you can't put back in there, but that helped me get my data back one time too. But for me, um, I was initially coming from the Nexus 6P. Why can't the Note have front-facing speakers? The SIM is a nano SIM, the same size as the Note 7, so... What I did was I just took out my my SIM from my note my Nexus 6. And since it's the same size, I popped it into my Note 7. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Wrong. Inside the Note 7 box was a new SIM card. I already had a SIM. I didn't need to use another one. I was going to save this for maybe if I got another line, I wouldn't have to spend another 15 or so bucks for a new SIM card. So I was going to save it. So I just threw that aside. Didn't think anything of it. Popped in the SIM, threw it in my Note 7. And like I said, everything in my house seemed to work fine until I got to work. Well, come to find out, the SIM has information about the towers that you use and information from the phone that you were previously using and since it wasn't a Samsung device it was quite different it had stuff stored on the SIM from my Nexus 6P and when I put it into the Note 7 it would give me that problem where it would go out of service and it wouldn't come back until I actually restarted the phone so to fix this what you do is this worked uh, for people that use a SIM card. I don't know if you use a phone uh, like I used to use Sprint. It would have a number and you call up and there was no SIM card. But I think Sprint uses SIM cards now. But anyway, if you use a SIM card in your phone and you're having this problem, what you do is you call up your provider and ask them to wipe your SIM card. Don't forget to save all your information if you do have any on the SIM card such as contacts or anything make sure you back all that up first because it'll probably erase everything that's on the SIM and basically what it does is it it erases all the network data um, from the towers that you were previously using and stuff from your old phone and it makes it like you are putting in that brand new SIM for the first time so the guy did that to my phone and it seemed to work great I was getting really good signal in the the areas where the signal dropped down it would still drop down um, I might have lose service for a few seconds but it would come right back again unlike before now the note 7 still might have signal issues not 
caused by the sim but just because the radio might need a little tweaking the reason i say this is because my wife has the galaxy s7 edge and we were walking around disney the other day and she was getting full bars of 4g or 4g lte whereas mine was getting maybe like one bar or no service at all so they still need to tweak the radio a little bit because it has i think poor signal in areas where the signal is not that great whereas my Nexus 6P had no problems at all before so they still need to bring out an update for that but this is one fix that you could try to kind of get your your signal to be a little better so if you guys have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments section below I'll be more than happy to help you out if I can Give me a thumbs up if you guys like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter. If you guys have any questions there, you can tweet me. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.